Well, let's start with the laundry list of charges Michael Villegas now faces. The heavy hitters, uh, yeah, two counts of attempted murder, one of them on a peace officer, 25 counts of prohibited use of weapons, tack on illegal discharge, criminal mischief, and resisting arrest. You've got the recipe for a wild scene on Tuesday. The initial report of shots fired came in just after noon. Multiple calls came in for multiple shots fired in the area of Patterson and Northern Way. Two officers in marked units were maneuvering to cover what might have been the scene at St. Mary's when an officer recognized the sound of gunfire and noted over the radio, a ricocheted bullet landed just in front of the unit, giving police a better idea of where the shooter was, and that was at Northern Way. Shortly after 1230, that's when armored vehicles made their way to the apartment complex, and that's when police say a detective spotted Viegas with a rifle with a metal rail and scope. The detectives described him as scanning the area looking for a target. When Viegas spotted the armored unit, that's when he went back into an apartment and discharged another barrage of rounds. At about 1240, police say Viegas left his apartment with nothing in hand, but was uncompliant to officers' demands. About 10 minutes later, tasers and foam rounds deployed. Grand Junction police had their man. After a search warrant was signed, they had their crime scene too. Law enforcement found at least 27 spent casings, along with an AR-style rifle with one in the chamber. They also found a 308 in the doorway. Uh, as for a search for possible victims, luckily no one was hurt. Officers did, however, find several buildings and vehicles in the area damaged. Meanwhile, in the back of the unit, officers say they could smell alcohol on Viegas. He was acting drunk. At the hospital post Miranda reading, Viegas told officers he had been drinking whiskey and beer on his day off and admitted to adjusting the scope on his 308. Uh, he said he pointed it at a parking lot, too, but stopped short of admitting he fired the weapon. Viegas now in custody on a $1 million bond. Mike Kretz, KREX 5 News.